What's going on everybody, I'm YouTube's PropyJ and welcome to Stories Untold. I actually didn't know about this game and I saw a couple of people, I saw Jack and everybody playing it. And it looked like a really cool game so I wanted to get in and check it out. So we're starting with episode 1. Um, cause you have to. <laughs> and then we'll progress and if this is a fun, it could just be a fun little mini-series that we could do together. So come with me on this journey. Some commands may be case sensitive. Keep a lookout for the hints. Okay. Oh. Mm. Oh. This really isn't the music to get down to, is it? <laughs> John McLean, the house abandoned in a television stories untold. Executive producer Omar Khan. <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm keeping myself entertained. That's the main thing. Hello. Okay. Yes, I want to play that. I want to play. It. I want to. I want to play. It. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Wait, what am I, what? Oh! Do I just copy that? Uh, wait. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Oh my god, I actually have to type shit. That, that, space, wait, that, that. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Just wait! Oh, it's capitals, I'm sorry. Wait. You don't understand. God dang it. Is that what I meant to do? Just copy it? I don't know. I don't know what I meant to do. Wait. What's the I'm confused. Okay, I did some research, so apparently this is actually, it's actually <laughs> a text-based game. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Read note. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You need to fire up the generator around the bag to get power and lights on. Also found something in the attic for you. It's inside your room. Enjoy. Press enter to continue. Okay. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's the, This is the same shit that I... Didn't I just... Did I not just do this? Uh, look at contents. I don't know what you're looking at. Uh, help. Open glove box. Glove box is open and you have taken the contents. Okay. Go to room? What was the other thing that was it? My face is so blurry right now. Hi! Focus. Focus. Hi. 
It's always fun. Always a fun time here on Poppy Chan. <laughs> Goddamn camera. Open the glove box. I need to see what's inside. Glove box is open, you have taken the contents. What was the other thing that was in it? I don't remember, I'm stupid. Eh. Uh, read, read, note, again. I don't know what the contents were. I don't know what was in the document. Okay, so is this prompting me with the same text over and over again? Okay, so I've got the I've got the key and the note. Uh, open card door. Hey, the house is grand, set perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door. And the yard stretches around the side of the house. Um, open door. Door appears to be locked and will require the key. Use key. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Open door. You step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Uh, switch on lights. A click and nothing. There is no power. The note should say how to restore it. Oh, go, go to bedroom. Uh, read note. You can't read the note in here. It's too dark. Okay. Go outside. You step outside the front door. I know it's a grand house. You don't need to keep telling me. This guy's a bore, isn't it? God damn. Read the note. Alright. Enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up this generator around the back to get to the power. Okay. 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 Um, walk around side of house. Okay, maybe not. Walk the yard. Okay. Um, go to side of the house. Nope, didn't want to step in front of- okay, whatever. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. Alright, walk down hallway. Sorry, I don't understand. Go to attic. Oh look, I'm gonna get my sassy pants on in a second. I swear to god. Um, um... Use flashlight, which I don't have. I click, and nothing. No, I don't say that. I can use a flashlight. Touch. Not use the bloody switch in the hallway. Walk outside. Oh my god. Go. Uh, go. Uh, down. Hallway. Go outside. Oh, this is stressing me out, man. Um, go to uh, the side of the house. No, that's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. <sighs> I don't know. Shoot yourself. No, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, cry. I don't know. Go to kitchen. Um, 
Go outside. I don't know what I'm doing. But can I get some guidance here? Walk around the house. Go to back of house. I don't want to step inside the fucking front door. God dang it. <sighs> Go back outside. Boy. Boy. Go. Go to the yard. Holla fucking Luya. The yard has been well maintained. You spend a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Okay. Um. Go walk. I guess. Go around the back. You walk around the back. To the front of the house. No, I don't want to be at the front of the fucking house. <laughs> God dang it. Go to the yard. You walk around to the yard. Yard has been well maintained, no shit. Whew. Walk ahead. I don't know what I meant to do. Go to back door. No, I don't want to. <laughs> Why is this so stupid? <laughs> I'm so stupid, I don't get these games. Okay. Look around. You see a generator on the back wall of the house. Go to generator. You are standing next to the generator. Turn on generator. You switch the generator on and it whirls to life. The house is still dark. Okay, go to front of house. Walk back around to the front of the house. Let's see if we can do this now. I know the house is grand. You don't need to keep rubbing into my face. <laughs> Alright. Go inside house. Alright. Now we should be able to switch on the fucking light. Switch on light. And the lights come on. Yeah. Hallway is now brought with it. There's access to the kitchen and living room here as well as a set of stairs going up. Actually, let's go to the kitchen. Let's go to the kitchen. You walk into the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to the utility room, but otherwise it's just a kitchen. Ooh, open door. The utility room is locked. You have no idea where the key could be. Uh, go to hallway. Go back into the hallway. I know it's brightly wet. This game's actually kind of, I, I, I have not played a text-based game for years. Absolutely years. Alright, go to the living room. You step into the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time playing board games with family. Warm and inviting. Sit down, enjoy yourself. You miserable shit. Okay, maybe not. Go to hallway. Alright, let's go upstairs and see what we can uncover in this attic. Let's see. Because this game is called Stories Un uh, Stories Unsolved, so I'm, 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 I'm curious to see what's going to happen. Alright, let's go upstairs. You walk upstairs to the landing. Stairwell landing. There is a bathroom and... And two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls. Images of happy times. Go to my room. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many memories in here. And it's well preserved. On your desk is a gift wrapped box. Open gift. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A future... Oh, future 128k plus 2. Wow. 
It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Press enter to continue. Your old bedroom, so many good memories here, blah 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 blah. Okay. Oh, on your desk is a future robot of okay and a copy of the house abandoned. It's still it's all still to be set up though. What? Set up house of the house abandoned. Is it a game? It's a new horror game called The House of Abandon. Looks ace. Play game? God damn it. Um. Open. Game? I don't know. Turn. On. Turn on. Computer. Fuck. Um, load game. Okay, set up game. What can I do with my fucking game? <laughs> um, set up computer? You start to plug in the various cables and leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a game here too. Play game. You put the cassette in your computer and press play. Oh, Jesus Christ. Go, dang. Scared the shit out of me. No, I'm good. Pull up to the driveway of the family hotel home, the holiday home, and park the car. What? <laughs> I open the glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from your dad. You take both. Open car door. What is going on? You force the warp car door open and fall. House looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind and. All happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Okay. Open the door. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. Maybe I should read the note first. This is what you want. Oh, god damn it, Dad. God dang it. Don't. Please. Alright. Uh, use key to open the door. Oh no. Oh no. You're like, we step inside the front door. Pitch black, but your senses push your smell. Stay aware and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You're compelled to read it over and over. Uh. Switch, switch on the lights. There's no power to the lights. Generator must be off. Alright, so same process. I, I think. You go back outside, you coward. Okay. Oh, this is creepy. Something that was so nice and warm before, and now it's fucking creepy. Grass is overgrown. And weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Look around. There's an old generator next to you. Um. Turn on generator. Oh. There isn't much fuel, but generator starts up. Yes. Go inside. Or maybe not. Go to front door. Go back to the front of the house. Oh my god. <laughs> Just get, it was so nice and warm before and how it's spooky. 
Go inside. Uh, pitch black. Oh, and the children's eyes in the photos have been fucking scratched out. God damn. I'm not ready for this. Switch up the lights. Oh, God. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect. Holy shit, this is giving me this fall. Don't do that! Good God. Go upstairs. Make it stop. Place. Place. Turn off the alarm. Good God. You're still in the hallway and noise has stopped. But you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There's a kitchen and a living room adjacent and upstairs leading up. <laughs> I'm a spooky scare. Go to the kitchen. Ah, nothing bad happens in the kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal and there is a caress on the table. There's writing on the wall, and the utility room door is a, has a big red X painted on it. Red wall. Taxi. Thank you. It's time to go. Bye bye. Oh, that's not creepy. Door is locked. Yay! Wait, 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 wait. What did it say? 1986. Okay, remember that. 1986. It's on the wall. It's creepy, but it's kind of cool. It's like a, it's like a weird murder mystery. Oh, it's creepy. It's giving me the creeps. But I like it. Alright. Go to the living room. You enter the living room. The living room, although hardly appropriate term, the furniture is threadbare and worn. Notice fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Oh, I don't want to go upstairs. Have you not seen a horror movie? You don't go upstairs. I'm shitting myself. Uh, I don't want to, but let's go upstairs. Where creepiness will prevail. They creak. Same but different. The landing has come across your sister's sister's room. Your room and your bathroom. Oh, Jesus Christ. Could you stop? Answer the phone. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's hang up. Okay. I'm getting creeped out here. Okay. Uh, go to your room. Door is bolted shut with a four digit combination lock. Oh. Enter combination. You grab the lock. Died. God damn it. 1986. Oh no. What's gonna happen? <laughs> ah. I'm a spooky guy. Go to your room. Door is closed. Open door. Oh god. Look around. The landing is bare and warm. Photos are dawn on the wall. Oh my god, this is giving me the hibbity jibbities. Okay, go to the hallway. 
No, 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 back downstairs. God, that, not that hallway, the upstairs hallway. <sighs> Come on. Upstairs, upstairs, upstairs. All right. Ooh. Ah, uh, like it's like Firewatch when I got creeped out by Firewatch, and I'm just looking around me, being like, "What the fuck? What's going on?" All right. Um. Go to sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Go to the bathroom, cause Freddy Krueger can't get you in there. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kind of things bugs. Look around. Broken mirror hangs above a dirty sink. Taps rusted in position. Go to the mirror? And say, tell, say 10 Hail Marys and uh, open door. Leave. Step back into the landing. I don't understand what I'm meant to be doing and it's creeping me out. Ugh. It's really creeping me out. Look around. Look at photos. Pictures are of your family. Their eyes have been scratched out. Yeah, that pretty much lines up with what I'm looking at. Um. Okay. Um. Go to sister. Sisters, sisters, brew. Open door. Look around. Oh, we're back at the landing. Open Jennifer's door. Kick open Jennifer's door. Hey! This is pretty good. Look around. No, I don't want to. It said I just unlocked the fucking bedroom door. Come on. Sister's room. Go to his sister's room. I know it's boarded up. Go to my room. You enter your bedroom. Our bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp? A lone person sits in front of your computer screen. Approach person. What do I do? Switch on light. The lamp is on. The clock reads nine 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 nine. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tightly. Uh, speak. I don't know what to do. Um, go to person. Go to loan person. I don't know what to do. Walk to loan person. Walk to lamp. Turn off lamp. I don't know what the fuck's going on. 
Okay, it says something about the note. Maybe I should read the note again? I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even at this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I can be with you now. There's nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. You are pathetic. It's all your fault. Say it. I am pathetic. Oh, please stop. Stop. It was your fault. Say it. It was your fault. <laughs> Twisting your words. Just say it. It was my fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just say it. Say it. No. Yes. It was my fault. I don't know what you want me to say. I'm... Pathetic? I am pathetic. There. Just say it. I don't know what you want me to say. End it. And I don't know. I'm pathetic. No. I don't know what I'm meant to be saying. Uh, it was all my fault. Finally. Oh my god, that was the end of episode one? That was so cool. That was so cool. That was fucked up, but that was so cool. Oh my god. I really want to play more of this now. It's been, as I said, it's been so long since I've played, like, a text-based story game. I haven't actually played a text-based story game since I was probably, like, four or five years old. That was probably the last time, but, um... Really, really well done game. Really creepy, built the atmosphere. Ah, oh, Yeah, it gave me shivers, it was cre oh, it was so creepy. I like it. Um, I'm definitely gonna play some more of this. There's four episodes, so... It's going to be a fun little mini-series on the channel. Hopefully you guys dig it. Um, and if you don't, fair is fair. You know, we'll be back to God of War and Dexter and a bunch of other stuff um, in the meantime as well. So, oh my god, that was cool though. That was cool. It really actually did freak the fuck out of me. So, mission accomplished, I guess. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, guys. Helps me out a lot. There are links to my social medias in the description box. And as always, there's a link to the Pope JM merch store down below. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And until next time, I'm YouTube's Pope JM. Peace out. We have eternity together and as lovers we cannot help but drown in all the ecstasy it's in the way we fight it's in that sweet surrender i'm drinking in